Hello everyone. After the last video on creating mailing lists for students, a teacher reached out and asked if we could create mailing lists for parents, even if they do not have email accounts that are connected to the school's Google Workspace. Yes, that could certainly be done. What we need to do is to configure the Google Groups from the admin panels to accept external email addresses. And you would see how to do that in this video. In the meanwhile, if you did not see the first video, I left a link in the comment below so you could catch up. Once you've done so, then you can join me as we create this email list for the parents that is going to become a very useful tool in sending out information to them. Let's go do that now. So the first thing I'm going to do from my Gmail, because I normally use Gmail as a portal at work. So I'm going to, from Gmail, click on the groups icon from the waffle iron. And I am going to create a new group that consists of the parents of the form 5 students so i'm going to call that new group form 5 pg pg meaning parent group and as usual we are going to click on the create group button okay so here as you can see i created a group called form 5.pg which means it's a form 5 parent group at take edu so i am going to click next okay so yes we only want this group to be of in for invited members so we are going to restrict all the privileges that are available to group members and managers and we are going to make the principal the group manager i am going to ignore the welcome message and i am going to leave the subscription to each email because we would not be sending a lot of email if it was a lot you could probably switch to digest which is going to essentially string about up to 25 emails as one and send it to the person who you are writing to if it was even more email you could select abridged which would string 50 emails together in one day and send it to the recipient of the email but in this case we are not sending much email so we can you leave this to each email we are going to create the group okay so the group has two members the owner which is me tom teacher and the principal the next thing we are going to do is go to the group settings and continue to tweak the configurations so that only the group owners and managers have any kind of power and you do not want you don't want parents to be communicating with you directly so we are going to leave this as the address they would see uh the form dash five dot pg dash pg as the sender of the mail right so that's it for that section we are going to leave the standard group footer that says you are receiving this mail because you are a part or you agreed to subscribe to unsubscribe click this and you will be able to unsubscribe because we want to give the parent the ability to leave that's about it we are going to change the settings sorry save the settings and the next thing we are going to do now is go to members because we want to add the emails for the parents so i have created an email list of emails that i generated on some disposable email sites and i am going to add them here and by simply copying and pasting as i did in the first video press enter and i am going to add these members Okay, so I am getting an error message now that says 10 users are outside your organization. Based on your group or organization settings, you can only add organization users to this group. Contact your group owner or domain administrator for help. So we could close that. So we are going to cancel this. And the next thing we have to do is to go to the admin panel and make some changes. So if you do not have admin rights, well, then you can ask the school admin to do this for you. But if you are like me, where our online 
effort is being essentially managed by a group of volunteer teachers, then this part, the next part of the tutorial, where we are going to go and configure from the admin panel, will be very useful to you. So see you then. Okay, once you have admin rights, you can go to the admin panel and under directory, you go to groups. And that's going to take you to all the groups that are in the organization or in the, on your school platform. So the next thing we are going to do is over over the form five parents and click edit settings. And here we are going to see a list of the settings that we previously configured. We click the pencil icon and just as we said, only the group managers or owners had any kind of privilege to do much in this group. But what we want to do, however, is to give or to allow external members in the group. What we need to do, however, if we are adding them to the group, they must be able to view conversations. So, and we will allow them to do that. We don't want them to contact owners or view members or publish posts. The thing that I've learned in working with this is that you cannot allow external members to view posts and prevent the entire organization from seeing the posts. So we come down here. We don't want anybody to ask to join the group. We want it to be invited users only. And yes, we want to allow members from outside the organization to join the group. This can be overridden in the admin panel. It says you can always add external users to groups in the admin console regardless of the external membership settings. Okay, so we are going to save that. Now we are going to get an error message that says external members of the group cannot view conversation when the outside access to this organization is, the set, is set to private for the groups for business sharing option. Okay, we could, I could click here and go to the groups for business, but I'm gonna use this quick okay here. And if you notice just below the last settings that we were trying to save, there is a groups for business section here. So we can click that and it's going to take us to groups for business. Under the groups for business, it's on for everyone. The settings that we are after would be under the sharing settings. So let's access these now. And as you can see, it's set to private. So once it's set to private, no one on the internet who's not a member of your organization will join the group. So we need to put this to public, to the internet. Now we come to creating groups. Since we are speaking from a school standpoint, we are going to allow the teachers and students to create groups because they may want to do clubs, study groups, and so on. So we can leave that there. Group owners can allow external members. We may want to limit this when we getting down to really granular configuration. We may want to limit this to probably say only staff and so on, but we wouldn't do that here. Group owners can allow incoming from outside organization. Once again, we may want to restrict this if we have an organization called students on your Google Workspace platform. You may want to restrict this ability for your students, but we are going to allow this now because I am Tom teacher and this is this group is for me and the principal. Right, default permission to view owners only. You wouldn't want the owners only to view the conversation. All members could view the conversation and owners can hide directly for the group. Yes, you can do that, but that's not important here. So we are going to leave that out and we are going to save. So now that we have saved that here, we could go back to our groups setting here. The group settings, sorry, and click save. Okay, so if we should go back to our group, let's make sure that this is in the clipboard. So I'm going to copy it again and I'm going to click on add members. Press enter and add members. Okay, so our members are now added. That means if we follow the group settings here, we know that these are enforced 
it means that once we start a conversation with the group, we are going to be able to send information to these external members and they would not be able to respond because this is a one-way traffic situation. It is a group that is used to push information. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I am sure that you'll find an email list configured like this one to be very useful in communicating with your parents. In the meanwhile, I am asking you to support me by subscribing to this channel, liking and sharing my videos, and most importantly, if you have any topic that you'd like me to do video tutorials for, just drop a comment below and I'll be happy to do them for you. In the meanwhile, have a good one. Bye-bye.